What's up YouTube? I'm Trent Weldon. Welcome back to the channel Weldon Aquatics. Tonight I'm going to show you how I installed my RO unit and possibly, possibly flooded my basement. You know, just, just quick preface there. We're going we're gonna to show you and talk about how I installed my RO unit, RO unit and flooded my basement. So initially we got to get started here and give you the rundown. What I am showing you here is the water source connection that I'm going to be using for my RO unit. Um, in my previous fish room, I connected it through a different, uh, different manner. I can link that video down in the description below. But today, I'm gonna show you how I utilize this three-way valve and for the setup of my RO unit. I'm very fortunate in my basement that I have PEX pipe exposed in my utility room. Uh, this section I'm using is actually set up for a water softener but I am going to bypass some areas and use it for my water source connection. Um, and here we go. I'm measuring out where I'm gonna place this connection and I'm about to flood my fish room. All right, let's be honest. I didn't flood my fish room. I got a little bit of water on the floor. I mean, kind of a clickbait title, not gonna lie, all in good fun. No, I was smart. I shut off the water to my house, which is what you need to do before messing with any kind of plumbing. Shut off the water, turn on a faucet, drain the pipes. You're gonna have some residual water. You're gonna get wet. As you can see, I had some residual, residual water come out. I got wet, the floor got wet, but guys, it's nothing that caused any damage. It was just, I knew it was gonna happen, but yes, I turned off my water to my house. So here I am, I'm tightening up the, the, um, the three-way valve. It's a push connect fitting to the PEX pipe, and then it screws on into the manifold. So it's a very easy connection. Um, if you've never done any kind of plumbing, it's pretty simple to use. You know, PEX pipe isn't that difficult to work with, but I definitely wanted that to be on nice and tight to ensure that I would have no leaks once I did turn the water on. So what it is, is my PEX pipe is 5 8 So it's a push connect fitting on the other side, and then in the center, it's a quarter inch push connect fitting that will allow me to connect to my RO unit. So here it is, it's installed. I've installed the also the uh, RO tubing into the valve, and it's a ball valve connection. I mean, this is one of the many ways you can connect to a, a water source connection. And then I found these nifty RO holders that allowed me to really clean up the RO tubing. Um, there's very small screws. They just screwed right into the drywall. The RO line clips in. And I ran it up and around the door frame there just to keep it out of the way. I did put a needle valve before the actual RO unit, kind of as a second redundancy, that if the main ball valve on the three-way connection ever failed, I can utilize that and shut that off to that water source as well. So I wanted some second redundancy there. <clears throat> I'm showcasing my RO unit really quick. We will go over that in the next video where we actually set that up. But I ran, I did keep it color coordinated. Uh, we'll talk about that in a future video. But again, I just used a lot of these RO clips to keep it very clean and just a simple, simple install. So like I say, this is gonna showcase very quickly how easy this is to use. You know, one turn of the lever, which is a ball valve, and I have water flowing to the RO unit. And like I said, I, I did not, this is taking up very limited space in my utility room. It's not large, and right now I am just, you know, showing you how this is working. I'm bypassing making any RO water. But guys, this is one of the many ways you can connect an RO unit. Um, very, very simple. Everything is push connect fitting. And if you never used it before, like you can't, you cannot mess up a push connect fitting. You absolutely cannot mess up a push connect fitting. So I was very fortunate here to have uh, this U of PEX pipe set up for a water softener, which I probably will never install. But even if I did install a water softener, it still lets me bypass that. But guys, thank you for joining me. This was a quick video, and we'll see you in the next one.